What's going on, guys? Oregon schedule's been released. The big one that everyone's going to be talking about for the rest of the off season. On the road at Stanford, November 7th, Thursday night game. ESPN, Brent, Kirk will probably be there. If the teams do what they're supposed to do and go undefeated, that game's going to decide the North. That's just plain and simple. I mean, US, that USC game last year was supposed to decide who went to the National Championship because both teams were supposed to go undefeated except for that game. But... We all know what happened, so if everything holds to form, and I think it can because Stanford's not losing a ton, Oregon's not losing a ton, so we'll see how that game goes. I'm pumped for it. I'm excited. I think Oregon get a lot, can get revenge and win that ball game. Other games on Oregon's schedule. Tennessee at home, September 14th, third game of the year. I'm not going to miss that game. Oregon fans, if you've never been to Austin Stadium, don't miss this game. The crowd's going to be crazier than ever. It's just going to be a, a really awesome atmosphere. And if you have your doubts about how great Autzen is, Pac-12 fans, Tennessee fans, come out to this game, and we'll show you how amazing our fan base is and how great that stadium is. Um, other games, the Civil War at home, of course. That's always a great matchup, always a great game, rivalry. We're going to get our sixth straight. Uh, um, the Beavers, I think, could contend this year, though. I think they could shock some people. So we'll see how things go with them. I mean... I don't think the Beavers are going to be a bad team. We're just going to be better. Other games, US, UCLA at home, Utah at home. We dodged USC. We dodged Arizona State. Um, not that USC is going to be good. I think they're going to have a down year. Arizona State, Arizona State, I think, could contend for the Pac-12 South. UCLA is going to contend for the Pac-12 South. Heck, even Utah might contend for the Pac-12 South. So we'll see how things go. It, it's exciting. It's interesting. I think the schedule matches up very well for us. Then again, I said that last year, except for the USC game. But after USC lost to Stanford and lost to Arizona, I knew that game was going to be what it was. One game I'm kind of not nervous about, but just looking at, is the Arizona game on the road. Ever since we lost Dennis Dixon there and lost Kellen Clemens there, I have always had weird premonitions about playing there it's like it always brings the hairs to stand up on the back of my neck whenever we go down there and play it's just kind of one of those Berkeley type games we never play well there or there seems to, something always to go wrong there so just another wrinkle in the great season that will be Oregon football a couple shout outs first of all to a new TTC -er. his uh, channels Carolina Aggie I'll put a link to his first video in the description also, this guy's not a TTCer, but he's a new Duck fan on here. He's going to be making uh, highlight videos, and I think he's also going to just do a weekly kind of vlog type of thing about the Ducks. Show his pride, show his fanhood, rep the Ducks. So go check him out. It's WTD, Go Ducks, or Win the Day, Go Ducks for Duck fans. We all know what that means. I'll put a link to his first video in the description as well. And just wanted to give a shout-out to my boy, Garnet Black 56 Uh... He's the, one of the more down-to-earth fans on here. I think he's just a cool guy. Just, I mean, he reps his team, but he doesn't get crazy. I mean, I get crazy sometimes, but I'm pretty down-to-earth too. But, you know, he's a cool guy. We've talked a lot on PM, so shout-out to you, bud. And check out his channel. He's a cool South Carolina fan, so if you want to trash talk with him, i.e. if you're a Clemson fan, go do that. As always, go Ducks, and you all have a great day.